This September 2010, Blue Bloods has been an American police procedural drama television series that has aired on CBS. The show has taken TV by storm and still remains highly popular after being on air for over a decade. Stay tuned to find out some of the best deleted scenes and bloopers from Blue Bloods that fans absolutely love. Let's dive into Blue Bloods' best deleted scenes. First up, Season 10, Episode 12, Deleted Scene. This was the most shocking scene for us in Season 10 was episode 12 titled Where the Truth Lies. This episode had a terrific plot for Eddie, but it was a bad one for Jamie and Eddie's relationship because there was no payoff for their fight. The scene allows Jamie to see Eddie's win while also receiving praise for her efforts, which was another aspect of the episode that I felt was lacking. Eddie requires detective's approval if she is to become promoted to the rank of detective. The sequences with Aaron were crucial, but it's a shame that their romance took precedence over everything else. Next is Season 10, Episode 2, Deleted Scene. Another deleted scene from the same season, Season 10, left fans surprised. This sequence felt like a preview for what may have been in Season 10 if Jamie and Eddie's issues weren't central on their time apart. This scene's absence from the program is regrettable. Eddie's reaction to Jamie being assigned to the op reveals that there was a lot more to it. She was teamed with Maya, who never had a positive word to say about Jamie, Witten was able to talk it through with her. Plus, since becoming a, a Reagan, this is the first time Eddie has spoken about how the rest of the police department treats her. Her concern appears to be that she is perceived as different because she's in a relationship with a boss at other points in the season. But here, it's simply because Eddie's a member of the Reagan family. Jamie, like Jamie, can now understand how difficult it'll be to find opportunities to demonstrate her abilities on top of the challenges she currently faces faces as a woman, male-dominated industry. And this sequence had been included, it could have set the stages for some of Eddie's issues later in the season. It explains why, in Friends in High Places and Reckless, she was so concerned about how the other cops would regard her, it would also give her interactions with McNichols in Behind the Smile and Grave Errors more dimension. It also explains why Eddie is so adamant about proving herself as naughty or nice and where the truth lies. The problems that come with being a Reagan aren't going away overnight, and because Kevin Wade was hinted that this may be an issue that Joe would encounter, it'll be interesting to see whether they use the chance for Jamie and Eddie to talk to Joe about their experiences. Next on the list is Blue Blood's family dinners. One of the viewers' favorite scenes are the scenes that take place around the Reagan's family dinner table. There are plenty of deleted scenes of the family eating dinner and discussing various topics. Now, this one isn't a deleted scene, but it is is mentioned in our list because it was included in the DVD and quickly became one of the most viewed and rewatched clips. The Reagans are juggling a lot of viewpoints during their family dinners as Donnie Wahlberg said it's best. It's also entertaining to observe such viewpoints develop and interact with one another. This was absolutely the case during the dinner scene in season 11's Guardian Angels. Eddie Reagan, Jamie Reagan's wife, is the focal point of the family dinner. Earlier in the episode, Eddie is viciously attacked attacked by a suspect on bail for assaulting another police officer. Many family members are understandably enraged that the perpetrator got released from prison and injured Eddie. However, Aaron Reagan, the family's assistant district attorney, believes it's critical to enforce bail laws. Aaron is naturally concerned about Eddie's safety. Aaron, on the other hand, values following the law and maintaining the order that her job requires. Willis Dess, who plays Jamie Reagan on Blue Bloods, discussed the dynamics of the family dinner during in the same Shades of Blue episode. As storytellers, we might be able to tell a perspective that hasn't necessarily been told, Estes remarked. Perhaps this will bring us all closer together. That's the kind of aim I think television show can have, and I think we'll be able to achieve it. Now we have Blue Bloods' funny and best bloopers. You'd think Blue Bloods was a sitcom rather than a criminal drama based on how much fun the cast has in between shows. Even when they're filming the most serious scenes on set, the series' performers always seem to find a way to laugh together. Stick around for some of the best and funniest bloopers from the hit TV series Blue Bloods. Next, cast strange and funny reactions. Apart from making weird looks at the camera and elbowing each other at the Reagan dinner table, looking at you, Bridget Moyhan and Sammy Gale, each of the Blue Bloods performers has their own distinct reaction when they botch up a line. It could be a subtle frown or outright profanity, but they all have their own signature. When Tom Selleck, who plays NYPD 
police commissioner, Frank Reagan, messes up a sentence, he prefers to use nonverbal cues. Take the time when one of his co-stars commented. That went surprisingly well as they walk next to each other and he forgot his lines. Selleck abruptly turns back in the direction from which they came as if it were part of his stage directing. He only gave away his true identity with a cheeky smirk before saying, I apologize. Will Estes, who plays police officer Jamie Reagan, is far more forthright about his mistakes. I wanted to check up on you, Blue Blood star stated earnestly as he spoke into the phone for one of the sequences. You mentioned that you had forgotten all your lines. Is it possible for me to do it again? Despite his air, Estes managed to keep in character even as he pointed it out. We love seeing the cast bloopers, which definitely makes them more relatable. Donnie Wahlberg is actually the cast clown. Then there's Donnie Wahlberg, the group's clown. Between takes, Wahlberg, who portrays Detective Danny Reagan on Blue Bloods, kept the cast and crew laughing. Before a crew member used the clapboard to signal the start of a fresh take, Wahlberg appeared beside him. If you have dry, ashy lips, never again. Wahlberg added his arm around the smiling co-worker. The Blue Blood star then gave the crew member a cheek smack before a theatrically presenting a tube of lip balm. When Wahlberg forgets his lines, he gets a case of the giggles, and the majority of the time, he's with his co-star Marissa Ramirez, who plays Detective Maria Baez. There aren't many moments between takes when the stars aren't smiling while they're together. It's clear that Donnie is the funny guy on set and always has everyone laughing in between takes, sometimes during takes, making for some great bloopers. Next up, Blue Bloods behind the scenes secrets that everyone should know about. Blue Bloods is a police drama about a family who's members all serve or have served in some capacity in law enforcement. Despite a lack of social media hype, Blue Bloods has enjoyed phenomenal ratings over its 10 season run. There are a few behind the scenes details that Blue Bloods fans may not be aware of. There are a few examples. Now let's talk about how Tom Selleck almost didn't have a mustache. Tom Selleck was and still is recognized for his dark mustache in the role of Thomas Magnum. This gave him a macho appearance, but producers wanted Tom to shave off the mustache during the first season of Blue Bloods because they thought he was a little too old for it. CBS executives, on the other hand, had different ideas. They thought the mustache looked great on him and decided to let him keep it. After all, it appears to have been a wise decision. Commissioner Reagan would be less terrifying if he didn't have his mustache. Finally, a now former cast member was brutally fired from her role. Jennifer Esposito played Detective Jackie Cordotalo in the early seasons of the show. She was a regular on the show, but she collapsed on site while filming the third season. Esposito's doctor advised her to take sick leave, which she did, but CBS management suspected she was avoiding work on purpose. CBS fired her after she requested lighter work. Following that, the network released a statement that read, Jennifer has told us that she can only work part-time. As a result, she's unable to fulfill her responsibilities. Didn't make her happy. CBS got rid of the only minority cast member so they could have an all-white cast like C. CSI, she wrote on Twitter. It's a pity things turned out this way. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Blue Bloods and some of the best deleted scenes and bloopers. Thanks for watching.